Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story today at noon, Venice High School firing its head football coach this morning. John Peacock is out after liking a racist tweet from one of his players regarding Braden River High School's head coach, who was multiracial. Peacock coaching the Indians to a state championship last season. He was fired today after 19 years on the Venice High coaching staff, the past 11 as head coach. In a statement, Peacock says he did not know about Kurt Bradley's racial background, but claims Bradley used the tweet incident to distract from Braden Rivers' recent troubles with the Florida High School Athletic Association. Braden Rivers' football team was banned from holding spring practices after Peacock revealed the team was holding workouts before they were allowed. Peacock led the Indians to one state title and six district titles. We'll have much more in this story, including reaction from Venice High fans, coming up tonight in our evening newscast. New at noon, a Bradenton man is charged with killing a three-month-old baby. ABC 7's Jess Ballard joins us live from outside the Sarasota Police Department with more on the story. Jess? Scott, the child died back in December, but it wasn't until April that a man was charged with his death. It took four months for those autopsy results to come back from the medical examiner's office. And now the mother's boyfriend is charged with that child's death. 26-year-old Yuvo KK Oyama Yuvo of Bradenton is charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child. The child's mother, Montee Span, called 911 back in December after she says her boyfriend picked her up from the nail salon with her three-month-old son in the car. The baby unresponsive and cold to the touch. The infant was taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital and later All Children's Hospital, where he later died. Yuvo was arrested back in December for aggravated child abuse and child neglect. Then those charges were upgraded yesterday when the autopsy results came in. After the mother called 911, we arrived to find her and the, and the child. And unfortunately, at that time, the suspect actually fled because he had three warrants out of Lee County. He came in and spoke to our detectives the next day. And because based on their investigation, they were able to charge him. There are still a lot of unknowns at this point in time. Police aren't sure whether or not Yuvo was the father of this child. Also, I asked if the mother will be facing any charges. Police said the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Aldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Jess, thanks so much for that update. In other news today, a Booker High School math teacher is charged with possession of child pornography. Police arresting 25-year-old Quentin Peterson, who they say has been under investigation since last year for allegations of inappropriate relations with a student from Lincoln Middle School in Palmetto, where he had previously been a teacher, but he was not charged. Police then searched his home and removed several cell phones, laptop computers, and memory cards, and found enough evidence for them to make the arrest at Booker High yesterday. We talked to two former Booker High students. I just think that basically they should be background checked. They all should have a background check. He's got to go. He's got to go, but he's got to explain himself. And if he's not willing to explain himself, then he can't get help. Peterson was booked into the Sarasota County Jail, where his bail is set now at $50,000. New developments today in a grassroots effort to shape the future of the area east of the interstate known as the celery fields. Residents approaching Sarasota County Commissioners today with their input, and ABC 7's Ray Collins was there. Ray? Yeah, Scott, the group calls itself Fresh Start. They began last year when they successfully opposed plans for a recycling plant. Dozens of residents, many of them dressed in green shirts, gave commissioners some thoughts today on what they'd like to see happen on those 22 acres of county-owned land that have sat for 20 years vacant in eastern Sarasota County. This is the area out Palmer Road between Fruitville and Bee Ridge. Among the ideas, a sports complex, restaurants, or affordable housing. A spokesperson for the citizens group says, make no mistake, despite those green shirts, making money for the county is one of their priorities. I don't think anybody in any of the meetings or in any of the discussions was picturing that the county was just going to come do this stuff on its own dime. I mean, it was always the thought that there would be an outside <laughs> entity. You know, this is a great community. It's an innovative and creative community. And uh, I just want to thank you for your work. Commissioners directed the group to work closer with county staff and come back with an update in about 10 weeks. Scott.
All right, Ray, thank you so much. And what a great day to get out there to the celery fields. You know, walk up that big that big hill there. I love doing that. Oh, and, that's uh, gorgeous. Especially on a day like today. That's where our astronomy club has their, their meetings out there because yeah. it's a little darker. Right. You, know, you get some nice views of the sky and uh -huh. such. So good stuff out there. And Birds course, love it the too. Birding, the birding yeah. is amazing. You know, taking my mom out there early morning to see some of the birds out there that you can't, I, I don't see them anywhere else, really. Right. It's really spectacular. It's great. And there's always somebody there who's so smart on birds who can help you and well, give the, you information. The local Audubon Society has its uh, home there. So Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's good stuff. Oh, we're, it's a treasure. We're so yep. lucky. Uh, across the region, as Scott just alluded to, beautiful weather continues. Deep blue skies, a few fair weather clouds. That's about all you're going to see today. Blue sky and a few fair weather clouds. Those clouds have absolutely no chance of producing any rainfall today. It's really too uh, uh, stable an environment for that. Some of the clouds kind of blowing in on upper level winds from the uh, Gulf waters, but uh, you know, I, I, that's okay. I think uh, we'll trade that off a few fair weather clouds for all of the uh, beautiful sunshine that we're going to see at times. And I think most of those clouds will be uh, kind of pushed into inland areas a little bit later in the day and we'll enjoy a very pretty sunset tonight. The Titan radar shows none of the clouds producing any rain showers. That's all well to our south and out in Gulf waters. Winds generally continue to be out of the north, but with time, I think we'll see them kind of switching a little bit more to a westerly direction. There's still a little easy out there, but the winds are starting to die down compared to 24 hours ago, and that will continue over the next 24 hours. Daytime high today tops out mild around 79 degrees, and overnight tonight we'll see temperatures drop pretty rapidly into the lower 70s. Scott? Okay, John, thank you. We're learning new details today about a suspect accused of shooting two officers and an employee at a Home Depot store in Dallas. He was finally captured after a chase throughout the night. ABC's Marcus Moore has the latest as those officers are still listed in critical condition. Overnight, a massive manhunt for the man who police say shot two officers and a Home Depot employee, leading to this harrowing chase through the streets of Dallas. Cops speeding along the interstate, weaving through the streets. White truck and they're currently shooting at officers. Officers running on foot. At 9 p.m., five hours after the police were first called, law enforcement caught up with Armando Juarez on this dead-end street. But it knocked over his basketball goal into one of his trucks, and he got probably within 10 feet ahead in the house. His white pickup truck crashing in a front yard. We got our man. It all began around 4 p.m. when an off-duty police officer detained Juarez at this Home Depot in North Dallas. When more officers responded, Juarez allegedly whipped out a handgun, shooting two police officers and an employee before taking off in that truck. This incident, almost two years to the day for the July 7th ambush, which killed five Dallas police officers. I am continued to be upset at the lack of respect of our police in this city and in, in, in our country. And now is the moment that we can lift them up. And I ask you to do this. Well, here on the Sun Coast, an update on a student whose promposal went viral for all the wrong reasons. His parents now say he will not be going to prom. The Riverview student making a sign with a racist statement asking his girlfriend to prom and then posting it on social media. School officials are providing counseling services to students at the school and district leaders still haven't made a decision on what punishment that student will face. But in a statement, his family says the teen will not attend any more school functions at Riverview, including next month's graduation ceremony. Construction is underway on a new parking garage at St. Armand Circle. For years, business owners and say shoppers have struggled to find a place to park at the popular shopping and restaurant destination. ABC 7's Marla Spence has more on when the project should be finished. There's finally a solution to the ongoing parking problem in St. Armand's. Behind me in this parking lot is where a four-story, $12 million parking garage will sit. Take a look. This is an animated view of what the new parking garage will look like. It will sit right on North Adams Drive where a surface lot for free parking once was. That surface lot held up to 200 cars. The new parking garage will more than double that to 500 spaces. The general manager of a St. Armand's business says she is very excited about the new addition. Anything that is going to make our clients have a better ease of shopping is always good for business. And we're very excited because there's going to be a restroom inside that parking garage, which is even another added bonus. Judy Fryger with the Foxy Lady Boutique says she believes more parking spaces will bring more people to the circle, which could lead to a boost in business. 
so many people don't come to the circle, locals especially, they don't want to come out here during season because there's never anywhere to park. So anything, like I said, that gives us a better ease of shopping is always good for business. In a month, there will be a groundbreaking for the new garage. The construction of the garage should be completed and open to the public in December. I'm Marla Spence reporting in Sarasota for ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Marla. Still to come in your Suncoast News, why new research suggests high blood pressure is on the rise in children. And why a study claims hundreds of Amazon reviews on popular products across the site are fake. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe and call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. You. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Get to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota for big savings during the Spring Sales Event. Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for just $23,999. Or say big and get the new Chrysler 300 Touring with an MSRP over $30,000 for just $21,999. That's a savings of over $8,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature that's getting pretty close to the 80 degree mark. We're at 77 right now, and the dew point value still comfortable. Not in the 50s any longer. We're in the low 60s, but still very comfortable. When we get into the upper 60s and those low 70s, then it starts to feel kind of humid, and I think we'll be there, but not until we get till about Friday. West wind continues to blow at about 13, kind of a breezy wind out there, but uh, I think it's uh, going to be a little bit less wind as we head into the evening and uh, overnight, and then especially tomorrow than we saw yesterday and this morning as well. So boaters, take heart. You'll have improving boating weather. Unless you're sailing, then of course you're probably enjoying that wind coming in at about 10 to 15. So today we're looking at 70 as a temperature uh, at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Whoops. Uh, well, anyway, uh, we'll get up to about 79 degrees for a daytime high. So taking a look at the future cast going hour by hour through the 2 p.m. time period and into the afternoon, we'll continue on with this onshore wind flow. That'll continue to bring the moisture our way just a little bit, and that will tend to uh, tend to increase our dew points with time. We'll eventually even see the the flow of air switch from west to I think eventually even a southeast or a southwest as we get into Friday, and that will really start to increase the humidity back to where we normally would be. A few fair weather clouds maybe from time to time, but that's really about all. We'll have plenty of sunshine as we head into the evening period and overnight tonight temperatures falling back down into the 60s. 
Could be some patchy fog around tomorrow morning. We'll watch for that, especially in inland areas. But otherwise, I think we'll, uh, we'll enjoy some pretty fine weather again tomorrow. Titan radar not showing much in the way of any rainfall across our region. What we'll be waiting for is this low pressure area back to the west, which is going to produce some fairly heavy rainfall in the plains, southern plains today, to advance toward the uh, deep south and produce some rain showers probably by tomorrow in the Atlanta region. So if you're traveling to Atlanta, there could be some airport delays because of that. The frontal boundary itself approaches here on Friday, and you'll see that reflected in the extended range forecast. There's a small chance for showers. For today, northwest wind at about 10 to 15, decreasing to uh, 10 knots during the overnight tonight on open waters. Uh, expect about a moderate chop. 79, our temperature today, tomorrow about 79. Plenty of sunshine around both days, mixed with a few fair weather clouds. Clouds build on Friday, humidity increases, and we get that slight chance of a shower. Not a big chance, but a slight chance, about 20%. And that front should be out of here, should take the moisture with it and give us a pretty nice Saturday and Sunday, but it will be warmer. Uh, in fact, it'll be very warm by the time we get into next work week in the mid to upper 80s. But uh, a little bit more humidity can be expected along with those higher temperatures. Scott? John, thank you. In HealthSmart, more children are being diagnosed with high blood pressure. So what exactly does that mean? ABC's Janae Norman has more. If you take medicines for high blood pressure, you are not alone. Millions of Americans do the same now more than ever. However, soon that might include your child. In August 2017, the American Academy of Pediatrics outlined a new, more restrictive definition of high blood pressure for children. And in a new study released in JAMA Pediatrics, researchers tested how that definition would impact a sample of relatively healthy children as an indicator of the general pediatric population. Using existing data collected over two years by the CDC, the authors found that under the new cutoffs, approximately 5.8% of children were either newly classified as having high blood pressure or had an upgrade in the severity of their condition. What are the long-term implications? It may be too soon to tell. Previous research has shown children with high blood pressure at a young age are more likely to have high blood pressure and metabolic syndrome as an adult. However, the authors caution using this data to make characterizations for the long term, saying long term follow up studies of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality will ultimately be needed to precisely define cardiovascular risk. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News. Well, it may soon get much easier to price shop for health care. Hospitals are already required to provide a list of their standard charges, but getting the information is not always easy. The Trump administration wants to require hospitals to publish prices for standard services online. They could also be required to give patients better access to medical records and stop billing for unknown services from out-of-network providers. The new rules take effect next year and mostly apply to Medicare patients and providers. And a new study reveals relationships only get better with age. Researchers from Penn State and BYU found that the happiest point of a marriage is actually when the couple reaches more than 20 years together. More than 2,000 couples participated in the study and said their happiness fluctuated over time but seemed to level off after two decades. Researchers believe couples may develop deeper levels of appreciation for each other over time. Been married 20 plus years, I would completely agree with that. Well, it's time for lunch. Let's get over to the kitchen and say hello to ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. See what she's cooking for us today. Hi, Judy. Well, hi, Scott. I am so excited because I based everything today on these simple red onions. These are the baby spring red onions, and I got them over at Whole Foods. And there's nothing like the beginning of the spring of getting fresh ramps and things like that. So I thought I'd make it with some grilled chicken broth. We're going to add a different layer of cheese with Asiago and Parmesan and mozzarella. Of course we have to bring in garlic and we'll bring in some other vegetables. So stay with me throughout the hour. It's creamy, it's gooey, and it's yummy. We are making a really nice chicken pasta today. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. 
Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Get all the local information you need before you leave home in the morning. Watch Good Morning Sundays weekdays on ABC7 to get breaking news, plus first alert weather and traffic focused on where you live. ABC7, we're here for you. You want a Maserati, but you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it today at Sunset Maserati, Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver Magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. On Amazon, a report shows that despite the online retail giant's attempts, paid reviews are still popping up. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has more. This morning, a new war is reportedly waging at online retail giant Amazon over an influx of possibly inauthentic product reviews for some products. All the sellers on Amazon are, are kind of getting hurt from this because there are a few that, that don't play by the rules. The Washington Post, owned by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, reporting that a vast majority of reviews for products in popular categories like Bluetooth headphones and speakers appear to violate Amazon's prohibition on paid reviews, artificially inflating the ranking of thousands of products on the site, leaving some sellers with little recourse to combat the problem. Right now, it's really difficult for sellers who are like us, competing against unscrupulous sellers who are engaged in activities that generate uh, five-star product reviews of their own products. And while Amazon banned paid reviews a year and a half ago, the Washington Post says that hasn't stopped some sellers from recruiting reviewers on social media sites, reporting that in February there were nearly 100 Facebook groups, one with 50,000 members, for the purpose of sourcing positive reviews. The Amazon sellers need to reach large markets of buyers. The Facebook groups offer an opportunity for sellers to just have access to, in some cases, 70, 80,000 people. You would get the product for free uh, in exchange for a review. And sometimes they would give you, they would usually send you a refund in the form of PayPal. According to Review Meta, a website that helps consumers spot questionable reviews, there are some red flags to watch out for. Actually reading the text of the reviews rather than going off of the average rating, because the average rating can be misleading. In a statement, Amazon says inauthentic reviews made up less than 1% of all reviews on Amazon last month, and we investigate each claim. We take forceful action against both reviewers and sellers by suppressing reviews that violate our guidelines. Rebecca Jarvis reporting. Experts say that unless there are consistent penalties imposed on major sites like Amazon and Google, the problem with these fake reviews will only continue to intensify. Let's get back to the kitchen and check in again with Judy Gallagher. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. So I picked up um, some thin boneless 
air chilled chicken breasts and I got them already pounded out. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's a lot less mess. And the thing about air chilled, people ask me, air chilled means it's going in nice cold temperature, but without that chlorine water, believe it or not, there is chlorine water in a lot of chicken breasts. You wanna make sure that you get the all natural or organic and look for the air chilled, okay? Cause it's the best quality, it's the best way to have it. So in these chicken cutlets, I just used a, a blend of like a coastal blend from the spice and tea, but you can use any blend you want, salt, pepper, oregano, dried basil, going to be perfect just like that. Well, this one's finishing up. We're going to start on phase two. Now, I already cooked the pasta. Today, I'm using a gluten-free pasta. So it's based from brown rice, but it also has flax in it. And I giggled because flax and flax seeds and flaxseed oil are so good for your nails and your hair. And we kind of joke, that's why I need a haircut every three weeks, because we eat a lot of flax. So we've got some brown on there. Now you can use leftover chicken breasts as well that you've grilled the night before. So let's grab the garlic and let's get that in the pan. Same pan that we use the chicken in because we want all the goodness that's on the bottom of the pan, okay? So here comes a little butter, about two tablespoons, and I'm using the unsalted French butter. Nice and creamy, really rich flavor to it, which is great. Next, we're gonna take asparagus. Now, I personally peel, I cut the ends, then you normally you snap it where it bends, so cut off the ends, I peeled the base. That gets rid of that stringy part, so we'll put that right in there. And this is the part that I'm excited about. Here go those spring red onions. Probably more than I normally would use because these are lighter, they're not as pungent as one of those big old red onions. So that is gonna really add freshness to the dish. Okay, I'm gonna saute this for about, oh, six to eight minutes, just till the asparagus is tender. And that will be the perfect time for you to come back. We'll add the cream and some other ingredients and make it cheesy goodness. I'll be back in just a few minutes. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramus, and here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been arrested in the state of Florida, the state attorney's office is already working on your prosecution. It's time to work on your defense. So give us a call, we've got your back. The Spring Fever Sales Event is going on now at Peterson Toyota of Sarasota. Drive a new 2018 Corolla for only $79 per month. The all-new 2018 Camry for only $119 per month. And 2018 RAV4 for just $129 per month at Peterson Toyota of Sarasota. Picking out a new ceiling fan? Yeah. That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do it yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. Thank you. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Performing on stage takes mental and physical preparation. But one thing I never thought to prepare for was cervical cancer. 91% of cervical cancers are caused by the human papillomavirus, or HPV. The good news is there are vaccines that can protect you or your children from cancer. I survived my cancer, but you can stop cancer before it starts. Talk to your doctor and go to thinkaboutthelink.org to learn more. Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, it's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. 
Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. Coming up, President Trump is pushing back against Democrats, refusing to move forward with his nomination for the head of the VA. Plus, why the man accused of killing four people in Tennessee is set to appear in court today. And the dramatic rescue of a boy stuck underwater in South Carolina resort pool for nearly nine minutes. You are watching ABC 7 News at 1230. Welcome back. Our top story at 1230, hours after President Donald Trump suggested his embattled VA nominee should step aside. The White House is now saying the president will fight for him. ABC's Serena Marshall has more from Washington. The president's pick to be the new VA secretary, Ronnie Jackson, now has the fighting power of the White House. And we think he deserves his chance in a, in a fair hearing. The abrupt defense hours after the president suggested Jackson should step aside. But I said, what do you need it for? He's an admiral, he's a great leader, and they question him about every little thing. Jackson is under scrutiny by Congress over his professional conduct as the White House doctor. His confirmation hearing postponed. As the Senate reviews allegations, he created a hostile work environment, possibly drank while on duty, and improperly dispensed medication as the White House physician, specifically the sleep aid Ambien, though no evidence has been presented. There was the candy man because he handed out prescription drugs man. like they were candy. Jackson has spoken publicly about prescribing Ambien during international trips to overcome jet lag. I recommend that everyone on the plane uh, take a sleep aid at certain times. A senior White House official insists the allegations are pure politics, saying Dr. Ronnie Jackson is being railroaded and that his record as the White House physician is impeccable. Democrats argue it's up to them to vet the nominees because the administration isn't. The cabinet is turning into a sad game of musical chairs and the American people are losing out. A ranking member on the committee said the allegations come from 20 current and former members of the military. Meanwhile, Jackson says he looks forward to rescheduling the hearing. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. Another setback for President Trump's decision to roll back the DACA program. Another federal judge has overruled the Trump administration's plan to end the program for immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. The judge giving the administration 90 days to better explain the reasons behind ending DACA. And so far, he called the testimony meager legal reasoning. The ruling allows for new enrollees and could protect thousands more undocumented immigrants. The Trump administration faces a Supreme Court battle today as they finally get the chance to weigh in on a centerpiece of his immigration policy. The Justice Department is defending President Trump's third try at a travel ban on grounds of national security. The lawyers fighting against that ban say it separates families and amounts to an unconstitutional ban of Muslims. Now, justices will hear oral arguments and rule on the legality of that ban. Republican lawmakers have returned for the first time to the same baseball field where a gunman ambushed them just last year. Several people were injured in the attack, including House Majority Whip Steve Sc Scalise, who is still recovering. The GOP team was on the field this morning for their first practice of the year. The congressional baseball game for charity will be played on June 14th at Nationals Park in Washington. Happening today, the man accused of opening fire at a Tennessee Waffle House restaurant is set to appear in court and now faces five more charges in the shooting. 29-year-old Travis Ryan King will now be charged with four counts of attempted murder and possessing a firearm during a felony, along with four counts of criminal homicide. Ryan King is accused of killing four people and wounding several others. He was initially jailed on a $2 million bond, but that bond was revoked. And police say they still don't have a motive in the shooting. Remember, for the latest breaking news across the country and here on the Sun Coast, as well as your first alert weather forecast, you can download our apps. Find them at your app store under WWSB or My Sun Coast. Well, let's get it live now from meteorologist John Skulls. So we've got a little bit of cloud cover that's moved yeah. in. A little bit, and that'll be gone pretty soon, too. We've got a little kind of trough in the atmosphere okay. that's helping to kick that off. Kind of stuck between two frontal boundaries, and sometimes you get a little, like, 
wake low. Well, not exactly, but you get a, you get a little bit of low in the upper atmosphere. Okay. Kicking them off, you can see that on satellite here. We'll put the satellite view. The high-resolution satellite really does show. Well, it didn't show. There, there we go. The satellite. Um, so let's start with the Sarasota Bay webcam. Having a little trouble here this morning. Uh, we'll get it going, and you can see a little bit of cloud cover out there from time to time. And that is uh, bringing us a little bit of cloud cover. Okay, now let's jump to satellite. And you can see that line of showers that, uh, not showers, sorry, line of clouds that has moved in. Fair weather cumulus clouds, nothing that's going to produce any rainfall. It's all dry stuff. But you notice how they're all kind of lined up in a, in, a, in a line of clouds. It's a little bit brighter white there in the center of your screen. That's that little tropical pressure that I'm talking about. And that's in the upper levels of the atmosphere. It's just kicking off, a, helping to encourage the formation of those clouds, I guess you would say. But they are too dry to produce any rainfall. The rain showers that you see way down in the, in the Florida Straits and uh, um, they down around uh, Key West seeing a few scattered showers. But other than that, we are in for just another glorious day. Winds coming in out of the uh, northwest continue to draw down that drier air, and we are left with a daytime high that will top out around 79 degrees. We'll have the complete forecast for you. I'll go over there and kind of kick the computer a little bit, and we'll uh, give you a forecast coming up in a few, Scott. It always works, doesn't it, John? All right, thank you. Coming up, caught on camera, newly released security camera footage of a boy stuck underwater for more than nine minutes at a South Carolina hotel. Nick Papatonis has more. As police say, that boy is still alive. March 19, 2018, just before 9.30 p.m. You can watch on this security footage as two boys, one of them 12 years old, playing near a suction pipe in the Avista Resort's Lazy River. There are other people in the room, but no one is close to the boys as they swim down to the river's floor. For safety, the pipe is covered by a grate, or it was. After a few minutes of prying, the boys managed to lift it up. The 12-year-old explores the hole and the six-inch pipe inside it. After diving down to the hole again and again, his leg gets stuck. You can see his friend tries to pull him out as he struggles to get free, but can't. And then the friend calls for help. Adults rush into the river to save the boy, but they can't get him out either. Police say at least one of the men in the river knew how to give underwater mouth-to-mouth -mouth aid, keeping the boy clinging to life for nine long minutes. Finally, emergency responders arrive. A police officer throws his gun to the side and dives in, followed by others. They quickly lift the boy out of the river and begin CPR. For 12 minutes, they try to keep the boy alive. Here, you see the female officer pounding on the boy's chest, keeping his heart beating. This woman crossing her heart as she watches the rescue. Eventually, they pick the boy up on a stretcher and carry him out of sight. Wow, Nick Papatonis reporting there. There's no new information on the boy's condition other than that he's still alive. Police say no charges have been filed in that case. Happening across the state, a Hillsborough County judge will allow a psychologist to evaluate the mental health of accused Seminole Heights serial killer Howell Donaldson III. Attorneys for Donaldson believe he suffers from mental health issues and should not face trial. He's accused of killing four people in the Tampa neighborhood last fall. If Donaldson is found incompetent, he could be sent to the state hospital, which would delay the case for at least six months. The accused gunman in the Parkland shooting, Nicholas Cruz, will continue to be represented by a public defender. A judge ruling Cruz does not have more than $28,000 in assets, and that's not enough to pay a private attorney in a case this big. Cruz faces 17 counts of murder, 17 counts of attempted murder in the Valentine's Day massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Cruz's lawyers have said he's willing to plead guilty if prosecutors drop the death penalty. An update now on a portion of the historic Bradenton Beach Pier that was damaged two years ago by a tropical storm. The floating dock was originally destroyed back in 2016, but now it's being replaced with the Bradenton Beach Day Dock, which will help to better serve water taxis in the area, among other things. The dock is set to open by 4th of July weekend. Happening today, a Pineview School student will represent the Sunshine State at the Poetry Out Loud National Finals in Washington, D.C. Natalie Shymek will compete for the grand prize of $20,000. Now in its 20th or 13th year, Poetry Out Loud helps students develop analytical and public speaking skills while building self-confidence. The winner will be announced later today. 
Happening closer to home, break out your island gear and dust off your grass skirts. It's time for a Mai Tai and Tiki Torches at tonight's Best of Sarasota. Sarasota Magazine celebrating readers' picks for best restaurants, retailers, bars, brews, and so much more. The party kicks off at 5 with a VIP reception at Selby Gardens. And we'll be covering all the event for you tonight live here on ABC7. All right, back to the kitchen now. Check in with ABC7 culinary, culinary Director Judy Gallagher for more on today's lunch. Judy? Hi, Scott, and I'm saving my appetite for that great best of party for Sarasota Magazine tonight at Selby Gardens. Okay, so we have the asparagus, we have the, the red onion, the spring red onion. Now I found a little bit extra spinach in my refrigerator. I always say shop your shelves, right? Just like you shop your closet, shop your kitchen for any ingredients that just might add a little addition or you just want to use it up. Not enough to feed the family with a salad. It's going to be perfect going in here. Now I deglazed the pan with some organic chicken stock. So we're just going to bring it up to temperature for a moment. Crank that temp up but we're going to watch it as soon as it starts really bubbling up. We have to be careful because now comes the ooey gooey part. Okay, we're going to take where we have the grilled chickens in there. We're going to take about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Don't gasp, this is going to serve six people. And then we're going to do some grated Asiago, grated Parmesan. There we go. And a little mozzarella. So in a way, this is almost like an Alfredo, only we're using different cheeses, not just the Parmesan in it to make that Alfredo sauce. If it starts to thicken too much as the cheese melts, that's the perfect opportunity to add a little more chicken stock. And now we put that delicious seasoning in the beginning, but I want, instead of adding more Coastal Blend, I'll just touch it up with salt and pepper. Right before we're done, we're gonna add the gluten-free rice pasta, and that's gonna give it some, some more pasta, you know, more flavor to the dish. But I know this is not a dietetic dish, but it's just nice if you can lower the carbs in something to have that opportunity to. Last thing before I'm gonna put in that pasta is I'm gonna get, squeeze juice of a half a lemon and now let's put the pasta in and then I'm just going to keep working it. Just keep tossing it around. And the great thing is, is that you don't need a lot of pasta in this. It's ooey, it's gooey, but it's rich. So a small amount. And then what we're going to do to serve the chicken breasts are in there. I'll just line a few more slices up on top. And wow, we really have fresh basil. We've got a cheesy good dish. You can see how it's coming along. So come back and John Scalzi and I will take a little bite for lunch. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for Highest Customer Service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today. Experience the classical music celebration May 11th and 12th at the historic Sarasota Opera House. World-class musicians include guitar duo Charisma, currently touring with Andrea Bocelli. Tickets available online or by phone. 
Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Now your ABC 7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we are watching some chilly weather, comparatively speaking, come our way. No, it's not chilly, but it is a couple of degrees cooler than normal. 77 degrees, the uh, air temperature right now. We'll probably get up to about 79 degrees and probably hold there this afternoon. Dew point value coming in at 63. We've got some cloud cover around, but that's going to give way to full sunshine over the course of the next Oh, probably hour and a half, two hours. We'll start to see wall to wall sunshine again. West wind coming in at about 13, keeping the coast a little bit cooler. Yeah, I'm not going to say chilly, obviously, but a little bit cooler than is average. By the time we get to next week, today's temperature will feel cool because we'll be about 10, 15 degrees warmer. Well, not quite 15, but certainly 10 to 12 degrees warmer. 3 p.m. temperature coming in at about 79 degrees, 75 degrees by 7 p.m. Beautiful evening in store for us. Gorgeous sunset, I suspect. 70 degrees by midnight and then 64 degrees by tomorrow morning. That's going to feel cool and crisp compared to where we will be with our morning temperatures by this time next week. Uh, we're looking at uh, water vapor imagery here showing all of this tan colorization over the state of Florida. That's dry air aloft and that is solidly in place. You can kind of make out this little trough of low pressure here in the upper levels of the atmosphere that's kind of swinging away from us as it swings away we're left with this dry air but not much in the way of instability in the atmosphere nothing that really wants to produce showers so we stay dry we stay quiet despite the fact that we have a low pressure area back west advancing it's advancing into this relatively dry air and this high pressure ridge now at the surface our winds are going to twist a little bit more to the south and we will start to see a little bit more more humidity in the air by the time we get to Friday, but still the air aloft will be dry enough that as this front moves through, it doesn't produce much in the way of any kind of rainfall. We'll be mostly sunny and dry, small rain chance Friday, and then that'll all be gone by the weekend and we stay dry right through the weekend. The forecast calls for a northwest wind at about uh, 10 to 15 today, becoming more uh, quieter wind as we head into the overnight 79 the air temperature today tomorrow about the same also on Friday but we'll see a little bit more moisture and that slight chance at a shower then things clear out on Saturday Saturday looks to be a pretty beautiful day actually uh, a little warmer but still beautiful and then as we head into the next several days it will be much much warmer with temperatures in the mid 80s back to you Scott all right, John, thank you. In consumer news, Google is getting ready to introduce disappearing messages in Gmail. It will include priority features and new security protections and let users put sensitive email information in confidential mode. Users can have a message expire after a set amount of time or revoke emails at any time, even those sent to non-Gmail accounts. The new version of Gmail will roll out over the next few days. The price of wine is going up. Global wine production dropped to its lowest level in 60 years in 2017. Producers, dealers and retailers will absorb some of the price hikes, but consumers will end up paying more, especially for cheaper bottles. There is a silver lining in all this. Cheap wine may see a change in quality because lower quality wines will be blended into slightly higher value products to account for the price increase. Disney World is looking for people to fill 3,500 positions ahead of its busy summer season. The resort is featuring full-time, part-time, and seasonal jobs in everything from housekeeping to transportation to lifeguards. Now they're also offering hefty signing bonuses for some of their positions. Disney World launches a similar hiring push every spring ahead of summer. Magic Kingdom is the most popular theme park in the world with more than 20 million visitors in 2016 alone. Still to come in your Suncoast News, the wait is nearly over. We'll tell you how, a, how big of a weekend Marvel is expected to have with the highly anticipated release of Avengers Infinity War. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? 
no. That's a don't do it yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky. It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. You. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. Did you know you could get life insurance in just a few minutes? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with just a single phone call, and you cannot be turned down for any reason. Even if you have health problems or are living on a fixed income, True Stage guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance policies could work for you. True Stage cares for you the same way you care for your family. In fact, True Stage policies are already protecting over 18 million Americans. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. My mom didn't have life insurance and the cost all fell on me. And that's expensive. We're, we're still paying for yeah, that. Yeah, we're still paying for that. Call 1-800-809-8372. Now, any amount of protection can help, and you are guaranteed to be accepted. In just a few minutes, you can help prepare your family with protection amounts up to $25,000. There are no medical tests or health questions. And remember, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Getting life insurance can be fast and easy, and it could cost less than you think. Plus, your price will never increase, and your benefit will never decrease. When I leave, everything will be taken care of for them. Call 1-800-809-8372 now for a free no-obligation quote. It's fast and easy. Plus, you get True Stage's 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1-800-809-8372 today. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Judy Gallagher, this right here is yummy. Ah, thank you, John. Well, mm. you know, we've got the seasoned chicken breasts, mm -hmm. and that always adds a lot mm. of flavor. And it's, in a sense, part way it doesn't know what to distinguish itself, spring and light or yeah. heavy and alfredo. That's but it true. has the mozzarella, the parmesan, and the asiago in there. Mm -hmm. But I think the best part are those baby red onions. You get the beginning ramps of the season, and they're only here for a short time, so I think they bring in that flavor as well. Oh, they really do. And plus, you know, you've got a little bit of a garlic flavor going on there. Yeah. And, and all the veggies. I, I really love this dish. Good. This well, is great. Okay, it's yep. going to be John Scalzi's birthday dish next year. <laughs> Go to the dining page, my son Coach com and click on recipes and video you'll get this and so much more enter to win a gift certificate for $50 to you, dine at one of our restaurant partners you know if you're even having a pasta craving you could put this over pasta too and it'd be delicious wouldn't it there is pasta in there oh there is but I haven't got to that yet it's gluten free <laughs> oh, so you God. don't even worry about that it's fantastic Scott <laughs> Thank you both. In entertainment news, Avengers Infinity War is hitting theaters across the country this week, and members of the cast are issuing a spoiler warning ahead of the film's release. Rick Damangella has the details in today's Hollywood Minute. I'm not telling you a damn thing. This is a trap. No, I don't want to tell you. Thanos demands your silence. Marvel Studios has released a PSA on social media featuring members of the Avengers Infinity War cast refusing to say anything about the movie. The video is part of an effort to curtail spoilers by those seeing the initial screenings of Infinity War. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. While the cast can't talk about the story of Infinity War, Chris Starlord Pratt is talking about a future Marvel movie. We haven't started filming Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yet, but I do know what the story is. It's going to be amazing. James Gunn has just finished the script, and uh, 
I'm looking forward to getting started, start, getting started on that, I think, uh, early next year. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. Infinity War begins rolling out internationally Wednesday, and box office experts are predicting a massive opening for the 19th entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Deadline reports industry analysts are predicting Infinity War could bow to between $472 and $498 million worldwide, one of the top five openings ever. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Today, the jury is expected to start deliberating in the Bill Cosby sex assault trial. His wife, Camille, was in the courtroom for the first time yesterday. Cosby faces three counts of aggravated assault, each carrying up to 10 years in prison. Prosecutors portrayed him as a predator that used his celebrity status to prey on women, while his attorney says Cosby is the victim of a pathological liar. Happy anniversary to Sandy and Danny. Greece is turning 40 this year, and this week a brand new special anniversary, fully restored collector's edition is now available on DVD and Blu-ray. It's got an alternative ending that's never been seen before, plus plenty of great behind-the-scenes stuff from the movie. Finally, the next time you visit one of the Smithsonian Museums in Washington, you may be greeted by a robot. This is Pepper, the museum's newest employee, there to enhance the visitor experience. SoftBank Robotics donating 25 peppers to the Smithsonian, valued at about $25,000 each. Curators say the four-foot-tall robots won't be everywhere and they won't replace human volunteers. Smithsonian plans to deploy the robots to more museums coming up in June. Interesting. Kids will oh. love that. Yeah, they right? will. Yeah. That's a great way to get it. Now, I'm wondering, are those the kind of robots that have an artificial <laughs> intelligence, or are they controlled by somebody behind the wings? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Be interesting, mm. though. Sign of, the, sign of the times. Yes, indeed. What's happening in the future, right? More and more. Thank you so much for being with us. Hope you have a great day ahead, and we invite you back at 5 o'clock. Until then, have a good day. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Forester is an IIHS top safety pick for 12 years running. And right now, you can lease a new Subaru Forester for just $2.19 a month or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Experience the classical music celebration May 11th and 12th at the historic Sarasota Opera House. World-class musicians include guitar duo Charisma, currently touring with Andrea Bocelli. Tickets available online or by phone. Designers do it with style. Tell me what's going on here. Because well, you don't like my hair. The Mark and Mandy Show. In-depth design ideas. What is up with the tuck tape here? Let's cover it up. Amazing beauty and fashion tips. So Halle Berry has amazing skin. She Her secret it. is coffee ground. No. Delicious recipes. Today I'm going to show you a special dish that is sure to please that special someone in your life. Watch the Mark and Mandy Show right here on your favorite channel. <laughs> My youngest, Addie, was two and a half. She was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light, the night light, with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. So I kind of grew up all across the country. I come from five generations of military men. My dad is still active duty. My grandpa is retired Marines. I like going for runs with my dog. I love, you know, taking her out to the dog beach over in Venice. There are so many things here to do on the Sun Coast. My goal every day when I come into work at ABC7 is to tell your stories, give you that major local news in those details that you really care about. I'm Jacqueline Matter and I'm here for you. The skills you develop as a soldier in the Army National Guard can give you a head start on your career. Gain practical experience with technology and equipment that will give you a leg up in the civilian world. Learn critical leadership skills and to be part of a team. Serve your community and your country part-time while earning money for an education. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn about the paid training and career opportunities available to you in the Army National Guard. 
Watch Good Morning Suncoast weekdays on ABC7. Happening right now, a major slowdown on I-75. Behind me, traffic is just completely bumper to bumper. Take alternate routes this morning. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. on ABC7. ABC7 News at 7 weeknights.